Hello everyone, this is Susan from Colorful Dimensions and I want to get my chair skate up here oh, without sitting on my computer, <laughs> preferably. Um, I want to talk about the birdhouse. Um, Out of the way. Yeah. Get my stuff hung back up. Hmm. Okay. Birdhouse. Um, you can if I was actually in view of the camera. Hello. Um, let's talk about this birdhouse. Um, I actually added moss, a butterfly, um, little birds down here with more moss and sticks. Little sticks. Um, the little sticks are from a hawthorn tree that we have in our yard. And the moss, uh, grandfather's moss, I believe that's what they call this, it came off of the hawthorn tree as well. Uh, I added my topper, I added ribbon to it to help hang it up, and of course added the card on the back. Um, add a little butterfly to the front there. The other one is the, exactly the same way. Um, there's not much difference other than the color. Um, when I make something I very seldom can get it exactly alike. hung back up. Now, I didn't use the right clip either. My desk is a mess. Huge mess. I've been making cards. Excuse me, I'm going to get this hung back up the way I had it so that I can get my other project hung back up there. Alright, I'm going to hung back up there. Now, I'll also try my best to... Um, think outside the box and it, sometimes that doesn't always work out so well either. Oh. Here is one of the things that I'm big working on that I was trying to think outside the box. Um, the bunny ears, the egg, Excuse me. And the little feet are from a stamp set called, or they're from Bo Bunny, by Bo, Bo Bunny. And my sis got that for me at Tuesday morning. And it's called Excellent Stamp. Isn't that cute? I don't know if they still have them. I don't even know if you can still get it. I guess I should look it up. Take the time to look it up. The little the little pot that you see down here at the bottom, that's off of a TV dinner box. The little tab. 
that looks like a little pot if you turn it up just right. And that idea came from Gift Basket Appeal. I will admit that that was Tracy at Gift Basket Appeal's idea. Oh. It could also be a hat if you wanted to turn it into a hat. But Anyway, the other thing I've been working on is little Easter eggs. 3D Easter eggs. Um, yeah. I've been busy. And the reason I'm working on these is I desperately want a Easter egg tree. I've never had an Easter egg tree and this year I want an Easter egg tree. So I went out to the yard and picked up some sticks from the uh, apple plum tree, yeah, plum cherry tree and brought them in. I'm going to paint them white, put them in a uh, vase and the stick I did came I believe from Tracy's channel as well over at gift, gift basket appeal the idea is not my own I'm just mixing the two together so when I get it finished I'll show you what it looks like um, So if you have any questions about the birdhouse, you know, if something's not making a sense about the birdhouse, uh, leave a comment for me down below. And please do subscribe to my channel and hit your ring notification bell so that you can get more of my videos. And let's see, what else? Hmm... Still working on straightening up my craft room. Uh, it's disorganized because I'm new at this and new at having my own craft room, basically. Um, don't even have my sewing machine set up. It's a brand new sewing machine. I haven't even used it yet. Go figure. Um, having too much fun playing with paper. Let's see, what else can we talk about? Oh, I've been making um, four leaf clovers for St. Patrick's Day. I have made some St. Patrick cards. Um, let me get one and show you. St. Patrick's Day card. Isn't that adorable? Um, I, once again, a little paper pot from a TV dinner. Just colored the back side. And leaves and stems for the clovers or shamrocks, excuse me. I think they're called shamrocks, not clovers. Um, the stems and the leaves are from a TV box as well. Why not? Recycle and reuse. Um, the background, this right here, I was learning to work with texture. And the stars that you're seeing the stars that you're seeing are from a I want to say Dutch cookie press what did I do with my little tubby the little round desk about like so oh, 
cards. And back. And I pressed that into the paper first and then went over it with an ink pad. Hampton Arts ink pad. And I have learned something about those Hampton Art ink pads. You have to be super careful because they're apparently not glued into the little um, containers that they come in. The ink pad comes out. And if you let it sit there too long, then it makes a super dark spot on your card. And then you, and you can't get it out. So... Just to let you guys know, if you go and get any of those Hampton ink pads from Walmart, beware that they do fall out of the container that they're in. So they're not they're not very good for um, swiping on cardstock. This is just basic white cardstock that I swiped on, and then after it dried. Then I went back over it with um, a scoring scoreboard and a balling tool to put in the lights for more texture. Um, the little green paper in the background here, that is from a paper pack. It's called Designer Paper and it's Crafter's Closet. Art Skills. Excuse me. I just had breakfast. Um, Dollar General. And there are 20 sheets in this. This has lasted me a long time. I'm really surprised at how long this has lasted me. Um, the dimensions are 9 inches by 12 inches, and I have managed to get a good six or seven cards out of it so far and I'm and I still have quite a bit left to go um, I think that I think it only cost maybe a couple of bucks for the pad um, I'll have to go and look to see if they have any more And the other project that I've been working on, trying to think outside the box, I don't know if it, uh, I don't know. It, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. the happy Easter part of the card is done with a die and a cuddle bug and I went over it with um, metallic markers by Crayola and they're water based and the reason I found that out is because I went over it with a wink of Stella to make it glittery and it reactivated the metallic and the brush that I the little brush on the wink of Stella accidentally touched the card so I was kind of a little bit upset about that so just to let you know that if you do work with things like that, you'll know to be careful with your metallic markers. Um, by the time I got down with the Wink of Stella, I didn't think that it had enough glitter, so I went back over it again with um, just a little tube of green glitter, glue get glitter that you can get from dollar store and the egg in the background here 
that's also a die. And I went around it with um, Deco Deco Color Premium. Deco Color Art Premium. And sometimes I can find it at Christmas time, and then other times of the year it's really hard to find. The Week of Stella, that came from Michael's. Oh, that was the only place I could find it. The Week of Stella. Other than ordering it online. Uh, the Easter Egg Die and the Happy Easter, I believe, came from either Amazon or Wish. The... This other piece, this one that's made out of pink in the background here that I trimmed in gold, the deco color pen, um, that's a die and it's from May May's store. Uh, let's see what brand, I know, I get it right here. Gina Marie Designs is the name of it. And trying to read here exactly where the Easter egg die came from, but it's all in Chinese. So I'm going to say it's probably, probably from Wish. Or Amazon. So if you really want to know, I'll look it up for you and uh, I'll let you know if you're interested to know where I got it from. And once again, the paper in the background, paper in the background here, that is from that packet of uh, designer paper from Dollar General. The pink cardstock is from Michael's, where you buy two packs of cardstock for half price. You buy one or get one free, that kind of thing. So, I'm very happy to have my paper. The, the ribbon is just from out of my stash. The little gems that you see on there, they're, um, they're from some art supplies I picked up from my garage, though. And the little, the little pearls that you see here, those are from Studio G, self-adhesive pearls, and these are found at Walmart. Hampton Art. They're done by Hampton Art. I think it's, well, there's 60 pieces in a package, but it's only like two or three dollars for a packet of them. So. Anyway, that's my idea of thinking outside the box. Um, yeah, so like I said, I had a big, I have a big mess on my, on my desk and I need to get it cleaned up. Um, and I, and to mount my, um, to mount the Easter egg, little Easter egg dude, rabbit, um, I use scotch permanent mounting tape and I'm almost certain that I found it at Walmart as well. I think this was in the home decor home repair section not in the craft section so that's that's that
Nothing else has much been happening. Um, yeah. I thought I'd squeeze in a video today. Uh, this is kind of a last minute decision, so that's the reason why I'm a little bit off. the spouse decided to go to town and I thought well I'll just squeeze in a video as quick as I can before he gets back because he makes a lot of noise when he comes in the house a lot so if you guys uh, have any questions about anything if you want me to show you anything explain something, or have any ideas, um, want to know something, drop me a line at the bottom of the video. Thank you for coming in, hanging out with me. Extras for the next card. You want to see my desk? I'll show you my desk. I'm telling you, it is a mess. Huge mess. Excuse me. Mess everywhere. Huge mess. So today is cleanup day. Get it all cleaned up. Get it all put away. Start over. Well, thank you for coming in and hanging out with me. One of the things I need to work on today is get a Facebook group up for you guys. So you can find me a little bit better than on my other Facebook page. Well, I suppose I'll let you guys go. Thank you for coming in. Um, hit your ring and notification bell and subscribe to my channel and we'll go from there. Bye for now.